The Governor Livingston Highlanders, 11-1 in the top seed in the Kelly Cup. Freshman Brady Silverman with 22 goals looking to add to the total. Cranford, the number three seed, the defending Kelly Cup champs, lost to Governor Livingston 9-3 in the regular season. A very different story in the title game. First period, the Cougars strike on the power play. Jake Icklin working the puck at the right circle. His shot is stopped, but there is Patrick Gosselin burying the rebound. The freshman delivers in the championship game. At the end of one, Cranford with a 1-0 lead. Second period, Matthew Wallen brings the puck into the zone. His shot is a knuckler that finds the net. Wallen draws the Highlanders even. We've got a 1-1 game. Later in the second, Brandon Kukaro with the blast. There's traffic in front of the net. Matt Dorada scores on the deflection. It's a power play goal as Governor Livingston takes a 2-1 lead. Big play here. Cranford on the attack. There's a whole pile of bodies in the crease. The puck is frozen, but it's not the goalie. The ref comes in, and there you see the call. We've got a penalty shot in the Kelly Cup final. It's Gosselin looking to tie the game. He skates in, but he's turned away by Shane Cook. Big stop there. We head to the third. Governor Livingston stays in front, 2-1. to one. A wild third period. Brian Kramer, the cross ice heat to Brady Silverman on the one-timer. That's a quick trigger. Number 23 for Silverman, 12.01 to go. The Highlanders open up a two-goal lead, 3-1. to one. Cranford rallies. Jack DeSimone makes it 3-2, and then Gosselin feeds Matteo Wild. His shot is stopped, but Chris Kuby pounces on the rebound. Kuby scored the game winner in OT against Oratory Prep in the semis. Another clutch goal. 3-3 with 6.20 to go. Cranford puts together three straight goals. Gosselin with another apple. This time it's Mateo Wild giving the Cougars the lead. 4.46 to go. It's a 4-3 game. Governor Livingston shorthanded in the final minute. Things look bleak until Brian Kramer walks in. Top shelf to tie the game. 35 seconds to go. Kramer gets his 17th. We've got overtime in the Kelly Cup final, deadlocked at four. Five minutes in, Cranford with a chance to win it. Christian Wilde's got a clean look at the net. Shane Cook, a clutch save. The Cougars look for the rebound, but the Highlanders steer it out of harm's way. Later in OT, Kramer threads the needle to Dorada. He's got a chance to win it, but Luke Pitt stands tall. Keeps the puck out of the net. What a huge save there. 15 minutes of overtime, produces no game winner. We go to double overtime, still tied at four. The second OT period cut in half, and we've got four on four skating, looking for a champion. A little more open ice to work with, and Brady Silverman takes advantage. Silverman outskates the Cougars, and it's a double overtime championship goal. Wow! 159 into the second overtime, Brady Silverman gives Governor Livingston the 2021 Kelly Cup. 5-4 is your final. Sensational game played by both teams. Brady Silverman's 24th goal was the biggest of his young high school career. We talked with him about coming through in double OT. Yeah, I mean, it's unreal. I mean, everyone wanted to do it for all the guys. We worked so hard for this all year, and then finally we were able to get everyone a win. With everything you guys went through this year, what does it mean for you to be standing here at the end as a cup champion? It means so much. I mean, the first week we got shut down due to COVID and we just kept um, persevering through it. Did Zoom calls, did off-ice workouts, and then finally we put in the work and it paid off and it feels so good. Congratulations to Governor Livingston, 2021 Kelly Cup champions. From Cody Arena, I'm Rich Grampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.